so I found out what did it. <laughs> um, OBS disabled all of my mod, all of my audio. Are you shitting me? What? Since when do you disabled? Oh, Why would I have pushed the button? Me? There we go. <laughs> Before that feed feedback loop starts. Okay. So. That kind of sucks, because I've been talking for a while to myself. <laughs> ah, well. I started over with a grand opening thing. It was, um... Uh, it was a cutscene. Well, not really a cutscene. Ah, I my face here. It was, um... I blacked out, and I was just like, ah, yes. Yes, you're all probably wondering why I called you all here. <laughs> Look at the room. The room in all its wonderfulness. Its greatness, and everything going on. And then I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> There's something happening, and I don't know what it is. Let me see here. That's strange. So, I'm finding that um, there are things here that are missing, and I don't know why they're missing. But they are. They shouldn't be, but they are. So I need to go back through, and I have to add them. Which, again, isn't weird. Isn't, it's not normal. <laughs> to say the least. Ugh. So, you're probably like, hey, looking good, right? Right? This is how I wanted to look. Move that cord. This is how I wanted to look. Way back. When I first started and did everything else, this is what I was looking for. Being impetuous, I decided to go with the first person I possibly could, had, um, what could be cons considered my design, or was willing to do it. I found someone cheap, made that work, and it's like, okay, cool. This is what we're doing. He's like, cool. Uh, here. Okay. <laughs> Needless to say, it was not the best. It was not the greatest, because... Let's take a look here. Where did I put you? That's now gone, too. That's... That's weird. Why is that gone? How is that still there? <laughs> I I just made changes to this, and it's 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 back to where it, here, here. I will just do this so that you get an idea. Now where image, image? Do, do I have an existing image? No. Okay, so <clears throat> OBS has decided that it was going to revert things. That's fine. That's fine. I can always work around weird things. Here we go. So. That was me. That was my old model. Now, a lot of you already know that, but new people or anyone else visiting be like, huh. There we go. Um, be like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> um, not nearly as expressive. I didn't match a lot of my uh, facial tics and animation and everything else. So this was concentrating a lot of hours to work myself to get it to be eh, pretty close. That one, not so much. As you can see with the hair alone. <laughs> that seems to be throwing a lot of people for a loop. Is the hair. And then it's just like, oh, what about the collar? Like, yes, the collar too. And the connections, and the all the connections, and everyone's like, oh, and the gloves are a little weird, but you know they're supposed to be like this. That's the that was the whole point, was their work gloves, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was kind of like, oh, you know the few people I've shown this to ahead of time, like that's what those are supposed to be. <laughs> it's like yes, they are supposed to be work gloves. I'm an engineer, I'm a technician. I do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
But besides that, as you can see, and then I will go ahead and raise myself up for you. I'm ascending. Don't mind me. <laughs> I have bags. Look at that shit. Look how cool they are. Yeah, they don't really move, but I don't need them to. It can't be neat if they were 3D. And then I have pants. I have shoes. Look at those things. Look at that. Look at my drip. <laughs> I have shoes and undershoes. Yeah, it's about where I stand as well. Um, feet together. Hang on, man. Ooh, there we go. I have so much fun with this now. <laughs> it's it's actually um, the old one's hair is moderately closer. What happened to your jawline? It's more defined. <laughs> I ha I have a I have a more defined jaw. <laughs> it's it's also not conjoined with um the hair. Because if I look down, you could see that. So the other update I have is as you see chat. You have an upgrade. And I put you over the window. For now. I might move you, but you're there for now. I have been experimenting, having fun, and just changing things everywhere. Be like, what works? What works? What works? Where? This is one of those changes. <laughs> I, I was going for a whole re-debut thing. And after talking with things, talking with some people, I realized... I never actually had an initial debut. I kind of just showed up and was like, I'm streaming. Uh, hi everyone, I am no longer flesh, this is my VTuber. And I went from there. Some people remember what my um, flesh version looked like, which was myself. And others were like, yeah, well, um, we don't do anime anymore. We are following you because of you. You go in anime, we're out. All right, fine. Well, I want to do this because it's fun. It's more its more of what I want to do. It's more exploration. And when I was talking, I realized I don't... I started doing this because it was fun. And I started out as that 3D VTuber. My 3D self. Full up and decked in armor. Because I love Dead Space to that point that I just said, fuck it. Let's go with what I've got which was that model. I literally puppeteered it. I, I turned it into like an Iron Man suit, a flesh puppetry suit. And that was what I went with. I streamed hard. I did what I did and I kept going. Not very many people were like, oh, that's cool. They were like, oh, Robot Man. Cool. I uh, guess. Can't see your face. Feels weird. Okay. They moved on. I found my other form and that looked like me, but I rushed it. Having rushed it, it lacked what I wanted. It lacked that punch. After, <laughs> after more than a year, I had an upgrade. I didn't do a debut. I didn't do a reveal. I just showed up one day and was like, Hi, everybody. <laughs> New look. I got an upgrade. This time is kind of the same. Nice oven mitts, babe. <laughs> They're work gloves. I can actually touch hot things now. <sighs> but, um... It, it was talking and doing things that I realized, yeah. It, it, was a, it was a big change. There are other stuff that's happening that I should be paying attention to. And it was like, should I have done a video? Should I have done a huge animation, a lore? Should I have done all this other stuff like everyone else I see do? Should I have added sound effects? Should I have added more? Do more? Change more? Background. Okay, well, I've got the background. I've got all this stuff. I'm gonna get rid of that haunting face, as cool as it is. And... I had to realize... They could do that. Not just because they had the following. But they were choosing to redo everything. Their new change was a completely different version of themselves 
Binar revisions. Getting to that point where I can go, yes, thank you. This is one of those times where I'm like, yeah, this is close. This is what I want. This is as close to what I can do as I can do. And having said that, having done this, it, it, it's different. Why he didn't get that message, but I'm telling it to him now. But it was because of Rice having designed everything, Rice Chan. And after having everything that was set up and done with the look I wanted, and I, I failed to find it all, it bothered me. I wanted to make sure I did it right, but I didn't want to go too far outside my own zone, you know? Where I was just <laughs> being not me. You guys know what to expect of me here. I'm not suddenly going to change into a completely different streamer and be like, Haha, today we're doing this. We're doing ASMR. Uh, fuck all these games. We're just doing recordings. And go from there. I'm, I'm not that type of person. I don't change that. I adapt well to change, but I don't change myself so easy. Putting a lot more energy, effort, into creating a spectacular little event. That's cool. It's handy. But it didn't really feel like something I should do for this. Because I'm actually getting to the point where I'm looking like what I want to look like. Where I can actually stream and you see my face moving like it should be. Or close to it. And a lot of other facial expressions. <laughs> are on point. Now, technically, if I really wanted to, and when my other version's up to date, I can always go back and be like, okay, now that I have a 2D version, it's time to go ahead and balls to the wall, let's go with that, let's make a full video, let's do lore, let's do all this really cool stuff. And you know what, I could make a video and put that on uh, uh, YouTube. Be like, yeah. You want to see my lore? It's right there in the link. It's over here. Oh, did you have a proper debut? You know what? It doesn't matter if I did or not. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to give that to you guys and have you guys join in with me. We all just have fun together. There's no point in it if it's just, haha, sit down and watch my lore video. We are going in deep, boys. Let's find out what exactly makes me tick. <laughs> no. I'm an engineer. Just... Point me in the direction of shit to fix, and I'll fix it. I'll get it done. This was... Okay, well, what do we want to do? Deba debut a new look. Do we need the fluff? It'll cost extra. And... No no time it'll be done. Skip it. <laughs> Let's get this shit out. Let's do this. Let's rock. And... Hey, there's Rice. Sick new look. Thank you. And you can see... Look at, look at the chat. Look how cool that is. <laughs> I bought a big, big pack of stuff, so it's, it's all in there. And I, but I have more, more stuff to mess with. And that's going to be a thing I'm going to do later. But for now, I'm just like... <laughs> yeah, this sick new look. This is honestly... Uh, it was Princidia on YouTube. I will have their marks somewhere around here. I'll add it in. They were cool enough to work with me on this and be like, yeah, this is what we want. So, you bring up the new room. This is the annoying part. I've had this room for about like six months or so. Maybe eight. I've had it for a very long time. When I first made my 3D model, I was like, okay, I will debut a new background and I will have the new model and I will do them both. Yeah. I didn't like how the new model really was, and I was like, okay, Rice is working on the 2D. I'll save it for then. I talked with the guy, worked things out with him. I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to go for. This is what I want to set up. He's like, okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Thumbs up. Be gone. And then I realized while we were still talking about it, when you had your stuff you were doing, 
And I was talking to another guy about the model. He goes, oh, yeah. No. No, it's, it'll take some time, but I'll put you in. Okay. I'll look around and find what else what I can do. I started picking and pulling and finding and touching and making. Crafting. More stuff. I started putting together stuff here, stuff here, 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 here. I was like, a lot of this is for a new look that I don't have. That is still under construction. Huh. What do I want to do with it? I, I want to have it on screen. But just kind of... Bam. New background. It felt weird, you know? And then, at the start of this year, 2023... I decided I'm going to do what I can to make this me. So I found a good 3D creator. They actually did a lot of good work. And I was like, hey, do you happen to do this? Do you do guys? Do you do this? They're like, yeah, yeah, I do all of that. So I have to give you what? My firstborn? A leg? Left nut? What do I owe? They're like, oh no, it's this price. But I have rigging. Yeah, I'll move that too. Facial blend? Yeah, I'll move that too. This seems a little too easy. You're up to something. Nope. They were really cool. That's all they wanted. And I was like, if, if that's it, then yeah, let's do it. They put me on the list. It took them a, about a week. A few changes here and there, fixing things, redrawn like two or three times. I think I think four times was the limit that I had them do. And they're like, yeah, this is the end. This is the end result. This is what you had me be, what you had me build. And I'm looking at myself and I'm going, you're joking. This is awesome. Because let me see here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Do a, do a spin. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm so itty bitty here. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, that's fun. But yeah. Oh, yeah. I could zoom in. There we go. Oh, move that mouse. <laughs> Oh, that's the one thing it doesn't let you do, is it doesn't let you hide the mouse. He did just, he did it just as not gonna lie. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that it's got your uh, stamp of approval on it. Because, yeah, he really did do a great job. Like, I'm really proud of this guy for really going at it. I have hair. That actually is hair. My headband. Oh, what was that? Hmm... Ha! Didn't close the program this time. Ha 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 And you see, I've got my nice visor going too. Now, I had to have him change it, so it was actually over the eyes. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Easy to work with. And uh, it snaps on. And I can turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> I have a nose. I can cheek puffs. <laughs> um, but yeah. Like I said, I've been having a lot of fun. Because I can actually, um, do things. Yeah, it's really nice. I love how this guy did his job. He did really good. And I really wish, I, <laughs> I need to find a way I can, um, give more a little bit. But this is, like, Principia. Like I said, I'm gonna have them linked. I think I should have sent it to you, but they did an absolute banger job with all of the design work. Because I gave them all of your, um... Uh, your blueprints, every turnaround, and all the stuff. I just gave that to him. I gave him a bunch of fan art. I was like, okay, this is me. And they're like, cool. I like the look. It looks awesome. Let's do it. I'm like, hmm. And I was like, can you add the eye bounce? So you notice that my eyes jiggle when I blink. <laughs> I got that too. There was a lot, a lot that I got added in here. And it looks so cool. And I'm still finding more. It's just one of those things that I sat on a lot of this stuff. And I decided that rather than doing that, I needed to get a move on. 
Shoot. <laughs> I needed to actually do something. So I did ex exactly that. I'll put that on my screen. There we go. I jumped forward and was like, okay, hey, I know I contacted you once back and I was like, about this room. Do we have a different one? Okay, one for gaming. And he's like, yeah, I can do that. Here you go. Here's the gaming layout. Oh. Oh, yeah. And so I've got it. We'll be jumping over to the game stream later on. We'll see that too. I, let's see here. Let me find him. It, it was actually kind of funny. <laughs> uh, I laugh about it now, but I was kind of shocked at the time. Was because, I think it was uh, Sequintas? Sequinta. He, <laughs> or, or they, what they ended up doing was they still put my look out inside of a, um, a group. So they're like, oh, this is what I worked on in 2022. And inside, <laughs> I think it was like on the third slide rolling through it <laughs> was mine. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was Sneak. Sneak. Yes, Sneak. Uh, I, I will have them linked as well. But, um, hopefully, now that they, they see I actually, they never actually, uh, showed it off. I asked them to keep it, um, quiet until I was actually ready to release it. What I wasn't expecting at the same time was that they were doing art for, um, <laughs> they were doing freaking art for uh, Niji Sanji, so that was a big surprise to me. And I was like, "Well, shit, I can't, I can't uh, back that up. <laughs> Ignore me." <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they actually actually went ahead and publicized that, and I thought it was it was funny. Um, there's a few things I'm looking at. I probably will contact him for some other things to to get some splash screens or some other work going on, some animations, because I still have the old, old school animation that I've had. And I do want to change that up. And I was actually looking for new ones, but decided there was no reason for me to find those. I would go ahead and find my own, or I would use my own. And I decided, hmm, that makes a good point. I should make my own. There's no reason for me to go ahead and use my old. I, I can go ahead and do that. And inside my head, the weird uh, pre-roll ads disabled for 10 minutes. Uh, we, do we have an ad? Fine. We will wait 20 seconds. You know, I wish I paused that. I'll have to wait. Nine seconds. Six. There we go. All right. Next ad is in one hour. <sighs> because I have no choice but to run those. If I could run without them, I would. But sadly, I don't. And if I make them run longer, well... Yeah. <laughs> None of us want to deal with that. But some of us don't have a choice. So yeah. I have been hard at work collecting and releasing stuff as I went to build, to help build this. And I love the cluttered look because this is honestly my life. <laughs> this is where my ADHD has left me, inside of a technology, uh, inside of a moon base filled with trash and other tools that I have completely let consume my life. <laughs> uh, but it's fun. I have been doing a lot of work to save up for all of this, to get it all together, and to make it work. So, this has been a lot of fun. This has been me uh, designing and doing things and getting feedback. And... <laughs> um, one of my buddies just messaged me. Uh, 3D, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and Oro did the same thing, where he messaged me too in Discord and was like, <laughs> uh, it's, it's how I've been. 
And as weird as it is, honestly, if I upgrade my CPU, I really won't have too many issues, so... That's what I'm saving for now. Or, if I were smart, I would have already put that towards it, but I ordered other stuff. Eh. You know, slice of life shit. Well, eh, a kind of stuff to make my life better. Others just to make me feel better. <laughs> just a lot of that going on, where I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and dwell on this. I've got better things to do. We've got more to do, more fun to be had, and I can't live in the dark. I can't let that win. And I decided that because I was doing all of this stuff, I would really go the extra mile. Ah, nose. I started researching other programs, other things to do, other ways to tie programs together. I was honestly going to put out... Um, different icons. And I was like, let's not go there yet. Let's think this through. I will wait and I will do a better way of doing things. And find what works. Find a better way that rolls around. And go from there. For now, I wanted to start with this. Because a lot of big changes at once. Well, that kind of becomes a little daunting. A, li a lot of people don't like change. A lot of people don't like big changes. So, I can understand where a lot of people are coming from when they're like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't like this. I'm, I'm gonna come back later. Let me process. So, I kind of wanted to hit people with a few things here and there. Now, the next part is gonna be weird because I'm gonna go over to the game station, the game channel. Take a short little break, so we can all collect ourselves, and then we'll go ahead and play, um... Power Wash Simulator. A nice, chill game where we can chat and talk about things. I was gonna play Persona, but let's face it, if I play Persona, I'm gonna be there for like 20 hours and no make no progress. <laughs> That's for later. <laughs> I love how I keep pushing off Persona. <laughs> I, I, I want to play it, but I'm at that point where I'm just like, hmm, Makoto. I love Makoto. I love Kasumi. But holy shit, we're at that tipping point where it's like, this is going to be daunting. And fucked up. But it's like, this is going to be really daunting. So I'm going to come back to this. And I will. We're going to come back to it sometime soon, so we don't have to worry about that. It's just going to be a little bit of time. You can't write on Twitch. What do you mean you can't write on Twitch, Marduk? Oh, you probably don't have an account. Oh, well, that's fine. I can read you just fine over here. Let's talk after. We can talk after if you feel if you feel so. <laughs> I have three screens. I'm not joking. I, I literally have one screen over here with Discord and OBS. The main screen for the game. And then that screen... Yeah, well, you're dedicated to whatever I want you to be. Most times it's also dedicated to chat, restream, YouTube, uh, browser. For a while, I used to have Discord over there. No. Yes, Discord was over there, OBS was over there on one screen, and the game in the middle. It wasn't so bad, but then I started to stream to YouTube and Twitch, and it was just like... Yes, you have no means of moderation or watching chat. Ah. <laughs> That's like, you suck. It's like, yes, yes. Let us feel your rage. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, cool. Let's see, I was just checking right over here. That's what I was, I was messing with earlier. I should have my new helmet uh, waiting in my mailbox. Cool. I don't think I heard anyone knock on my door, but I'll check it to be sure later. Little Morgan coming out the world. He's even got a casting couch. I, I guess if you want to call the couch I sleep on my casting couch, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a single seater maybe eh whatever but yeah <laughs> mocking my couch 
<laughs> See, oh, oh, that reminds me. Hang on, let me let me hide myself real quick. Wait, can I can I just move myself off screen? Oh, help me! <laughs> I'm just ahead. I need to get ahead in life. <laughs> I'm ducking out of the counter. So, rub my nose again. I don't know. It's it's the mustache. It's the mustache. So as you see behind me, you can see that computer back there. That's the gaming computer. And we actually have a whole thing set up for it where we can go over there and uh, see it. I really wish the room was created to be 3D. And that's one of my eventualities. Is to get a 3D room. Big up. Lock up. Lock up. Where it is the actual room. Set up and designed to be uh, walked around in 3D. There have been a few programs like it that have been floating around. A lot of them are very computer heavy. They are designed to be run in Unity. Yeah, they're monsters. They really are, but they work. This room was created in 3D and then modified to be 2D-esque, essentially. It's a 3D animation in a 2D space. <laughs> There's technology here. <laughs> um, the other thing is there's about two, maybe three programs running around out there. One is a private program with Vishojo. Another program is, no, there's like four, four, because there's one with Vishojo that, um, Noelle showed off yet. No, 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 she popped up somewhere. On my background. Um, Zentrea. Zentrea showed it off yesterday or the day before on her stream. And that is a three-dimensional space that she has the ability to show. It does full body tracking, full hand tracking, and facial tracking. That is all done from her computer and her webcam. I believe multiple webcams, but still. Same thing applies. There is Obscure. Buff Pup should have been showing some of her work on Obscure. We'll be finding more about that on Riku. Riku stream. I think it's, it's literally Riku VR. Riku is a really good Unity editor and developer. He creates so much shit in Unity and then he breaks it. It's like, oh my god, dude. You need to, like, take a chill pill. <laughs> but that's what he does. Um, those are two. Those are the two big ones. So Obscure is run by the same guys who do mocap suits. And th this is like one of their side programs. Or side businesses. There is another one after that, which is just Unity. That I... No. There is another... There is Unity, and Unity runs itself the way it does. After Unity runs itself, you have Code Miko's. Now we all, some of us, know of Code Miko. Miko's thing is that she runs her virtual space as virtual as you can see it. And then what she does is she actually added, I could probably restore myself. There we go. Um. <clears throat> she actually runs herself inside of that. Okay, well that really didn't change too much. <laughs> I tried drinking some water. I got some sparkling water and it feels like I didn't even drink anything. But um, you have Code Miku whose world is three-dimensional as you see it. And then she can back out into a... Th um, what is that for? What is that? Third person view. Following herself and everything around her room. That is her own program. Usually done in Unity, but she has some tie ins with that. She's a very scary developer, as well, a technician. So th you have those four. I believe there is another version out there that allows it, but all of these really tied together with Unity. And that is the scary part, is that it is so cool to see 
and that they, they, they know how to do it so well. Fofumet. Fofumet was one of the people who did this too. And she actually shows tutorials on how to have a 3D space that you can view and see and interact in and then do all your stuff. But her setups are very, very excessive. I could not imagine myself in that anytime soon. <laughs> She's awesome. But she uses a 3D mocap suit and she has enough programming or at least knowledge of Unity that she has her whole room set up. And enough trackers. <laughs> God forbid I forget the trackers. She has enough trackers that she has them set on everything she can interact with. Including her water bottle. Her microphone. <laughs> there's one on the microphone. There's one on the water bottle. There's a, there was a bunch on her before she got the mocap suit. There's stuff on the desk. The chair. Yeah. She has one on her chair. She can move her chair and it moves in the stream. Like... If you watch any of Fofamit's streams, that chair that moves is her chair. <laughs> and I'm like, I... Nah. <laughs> I can't do that. I can get, I can do this. And this... Oh! Oh! Uh, Sundival. Sundival made another one. That's who it was. It was Sundival. Sundival is making a different do-it-yourself kind of program, like BC Face meets Unity. And she's trying to make it so that it's all wrapped together, you don't need to have anything special, and you can go into a 3D world. She did that with... Lumi. That's what it was. She did that with Lumi, and it worked out rather well. Um, do I know what I'm doing? Fuck no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm not able to do that. I tried it. I've jumped into it a few times. It gets really weird for me, but I need to find out if I'm doing it wrong, which I very well could be. I am not the brightest, and there's no instruction manual. <laughs> I, I am like, hmm. Uh, this button. I just broke everything. Fuck it. <laughs> it's time to hit the undo. What's that? Undo, undo, undo. <laughs> Close, reopen. Okay, what do I do here? You need a world. <laughs> and it's just me gasping for air as my brain is starved because I'm staring at the screen going, World. What world do you mean? Oh, and it's just like, oh, I need to make a 3D world, import it into there, make that work, put myself into it. I'm like, oh my god. It's like, oh, by the way, you can use these programs in tandem. Like, come on. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> like, for now, I'm also looking up, um, what are they called? Okabe from Sony. Those came out. I can find them on eBay. They are now going for like three, five hundred dollars, and I'm like, they were three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars at launch, and I see people, you know, oh, they're five, six hundred, four, six hundred dollars. I'm like, okay, come on, guys, really? I, 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 I know you think they're worth more than they are, and you're trying to make a mint off of. I'm just willing to wait till Sony, <laughs> Sony puts this shit out, and makes it viable for everyone. They'll probably put it at the same price, but I'll have a warranty. You're not going to give me a warranty. At most, at most what you'll be able to do is if it fails, I'll get my money back in 30 days. That's it. Just like I'm looking into a new phone. Not, 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 here's the thing. I'm looking into a new phone, not just for VTubing, but to use. So it's one of those ones where I'm like, okay, oh, there's a good used one. I'll use that. I see locked. I'm not going to buy a phone with the iCloud locked. Okay, what about this one? Ha! Ah, IC locked. You got to have to repair it. Bro, there's no repairing this. You can't sell this. This is, sto this is stolen. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing with this? Oh, well, I'm selling this for $400. Bro, it's broken. Like, the screen on this, if you want to get the new screen, I'm going to have to... 
either disassemble this myself or take this in and cost myself another 400 to make it. This is useless. Oh, that's 450 now. No, no, we're not doing this. And so I'm looking around, and I've heard other people are like, oh yeah, go with the go with this one. Oh, go with the newest one. Go with this one. I'm like, <gasps> no. So I have been digging around looking up used ones, and it's gotten full circle. Like, I'm not even joking. I've gone full circle from the one I'm using now <laughs> to the most expensive new ones. And I'm like, hmm, maybe. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, eh, no. No. Eh. Eh. It's turning out to be one of those looking into things. And I think I found out with a solution. I'll have to buy it used or new. <laughs> and make payments on it. But that's its own thing. I'll worry about that later. Honestly, I'm happy my little guy right here is working just fine. Head pack. <laughs> yeah, I touched it and slapped me. <laughs> but I'm making this thing work. I'm making everything work. I'm putting it all together. I'm doing this myself. There's not very many places you can look and go, Oh, this is based off this. By the way, did you know there's a tutorial? There's not. For a lot of this stuff that wanting to put myself into a 3D world and doing things... A lot of people have found a bypass by using VRChat. I am not VRChat compatible. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, there is a lot more you have to do to make this VR compatible. So, because I'm not VR compatible, I didn't put myself into a VR world. Which, honestly, I think would have been really weird if I started a stream and you guys were just like... Damn, Morgan! You really went and upgraded. You're in 3D. The world you're in is in 3D. Why are you glitching out over there? Why are your legs over your head? <laughs> Why are you freaking the fuck out? <laughs> oh, well, you know, that's, um, um, the tracker. <laughs> Losing its mind as I'm walking across my small living room. Oh. Can it be fixed? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna jump into that, because there's far too many unknowns, and I don't know anyone who knows it well enough to bother them. The only person I really know would be Fillion, and I really do not know her, so I do not want to feel like, hey, Fillion, question, how do you do what you do? And then I find out and be like, oh, yeah, you're an idiot, just look this up, you know? It's like, nah, nah, I'll wait. I will wait, and I will play, and I will understand more about myself, and I will do all this stuff, and I will look up, um, tutorials. Or even better, I'll wait like two months and have new software be presented and be like, Yo, this does everything you were looking for three months ago. How long has this been out? Yes. <laughs> you know, it'll be something like that. And then uh, the other thing I'm looking into is just art. Finding ways to, you know, pretty much spread what I do around. I see a lot of other people doing, oh yeah, here's my fan art. Here's my fan art. Here's my fan art. I'm like, I need to do that. I need to get cute and funny shit. I need to start thinking ahead of what I want to stream, what games I want to do, and from there... Make a thumbnail for it ahead of time. Months and months ahead of time. Because one of the newest ones is Elden Ring I want to play. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've got a uh, thumbnail. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Lying out my ass so hard you could hear it on the planet. <laughs> there is just stuff that I'm like, okay, I gotta be smart. I have been playing by the seat of my pants for everything, using the same things. If it, if it hadn't been for Mole, making up those um, emotes, I would have been screwed. So hard. Just so bad. Because he really came in and saved my ass by them. And I'm like, okay, well, time to put them on my thumbnails. I'll make them my thumbnails. Ah! <laughs> 
And it worked for a lot of them. But now I'm just like, can't be doing that. And now I there's like, oh, I have a reactive face. I can start putting up images of my face looking scared. <gasps> oh, go ahead and clip that and put that over here. And that'll be a great one. Even though, you know. <laughs> wow, Mario, you actually got scared? Holy shit. That must be a terrifying game. Oh, that was the thumbnail. You still react like the same dry bastard you have been. <laughs> You're a little dead inside. That's why we like watching you play. You don't freak out. <laughs> I actually had someone say that to me. They actually were like, I like to watch your stuff, your your videos, because you will play a horror game and you don't get scared or it doesn't show. We well, became very cautious or apprehensive, but you still go on. You don't freak out or scream or make super dramatic things or go crazy. You, you take it very carefully and methodically. I was like, okay, that's on point, I guess. That's a, that's a good introspective look about myself playing a game. They're like, yeah, it's actually really nice because people freak out and scream and just rip them apart. And it's just like, I don't have to worry about, oh shit, I need to turn up the volume or turn down the volume. There's no volume warnings needed. You just roll through it. I'm like, I'll remember that. And now that I have an expressive face, I can I can really put, you know, I can have fun. And I can put in all those fun little things into thumbnails. It'd be weird, but I actually have a face. <laughs> One that doesn't look like a potato. One that doesn't look like a basic anime. You know, uh, yeah, honestly, a basic anime. <laughs> I actually look and feel like I should. Because it's almost matching my face. Uh, one to one in expressions. Eh, a few few weird ones here. But I am matching myself. And it feels so weird to be like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now it doesn't do the. It does not like me crossing my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't push them out. I can only push them in. It doesn't like tracking my eyes when I do that. It actually gets really noisy, like interference-wise. But the other thing you're, you're, I'm also doing, you probably can't tell, is I have the mic away from me. <laughs> so, to put into context how I had a lot of things, I, I'm actually going to, to mount my mic onto my table here in a little bit. Once I get a, a shelf for it. I had my phone, or my microphone, over my head for a lot of this. The weight of my microphone is greater than that than what the arm can hold. So it would become to start sagging down, and I didn't realize it. But I started to sag. <laughs> I started to encroach and lean in and lean further down in my seat <laughs> to look under my microphone, to look around it, because I was an idiot, and I just didn't put it where it needed to be, where I didn't know it could be, until that, that fun little persona stream we did, where I found out, okay, I'm going to put this over here. Can you guys hear me? You can. How well? Well, I don't have to yell. You hear me like I'm standing next to you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit. So I started moving it around, started looking at things and talking and finding out, yeah. Yeah, you guys can hear just fine. I have my settings detailed and done that you guys can hear me from where you are over here at the same level of the desk as the phone where my leap motion is where it's recording my arms and you don't just see an arm anymore like this i used to have an arm that just stuck there for a while if you guys remember how things began because that was the leap motion detecting my monitor arm and going that's a hand it doesn't look like a hand but it's a hand 
clearly. So it started recording it. And I was like, no. <laughs> no, don't, don't do that. <laughs> and it was just like, I'm gonna do it. Can you not? Can you not? Nope. Didn't see it. It just saw this figure and was like, that's an arm. So I started moving everything on my desk to accommodate for an arm for this microphone. Well, now I don't need it. <laughs> I've bought two of these damn things, and now I don't need it. But if I'm lucky, I'll be able to repurpose it for the phone for later on. But it, it literally turned into one of those things where I'm sitting here going, my plans for upgrades for all of this have changed because I failed to know. <laughs> I failed to play around and really experiment with things. So I'm glad we've gotten more to it with what we've been doing. Because streaming with you guys has really driven me to that point. Where, yeah, you're very receptive. You guys point a lot of shit out that I would have noticed. Or I wouldn't ha I would not have noticed. I would have looked beyond it. And I would have missed it. And now it's to the point where it's like, well, shit. If that's the case, then what else have I missed? What what could have been better? What could have been fixed? Not much. There's nothing. And when I ask you guys, it's like, hey, could you watch this and find out what's going on with it? Or what do you guys notice? And a lot of people are like, yeah, sure. We'll do that. We'll take a look. See if we can find out. Some from pop up with, ah, didn't just find anything. Oh, by the way, you're muted. Really? What else? Uh, that's it. And then someone else will come in and be like, Ah, uh, so... This, 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 and go fuck yourself, go away. Shit. Ah. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm, I'm starting to actually take in that feedback. And do something about it. So if you find more issues, let me know. <laughs> and don't see my facial expressions anymore, because those aren't a problem. <laughs> we can now see how I express myself and how I feel. I'm a very emotive person. My, um... A voice aside. <laughs> I have expressive facial expressions. I am... Deadpan at times, especially with my voice, as you can tell. But yeah, I'm very... Um, facially emotive, just like my hands. I'm constantly moving my hands. And that's why I was like, oh, I can do the 3D thing. I can move my hands. You guys will love it and see it and be able to be like, ah. 2D doesn't do that very well. I will still want it, but it's also changing. So I'm going to keep messing around with stuff. Keep, ha keep having fun. And I'm just going to do what I've been doing. So, for everyone that's been here, for everyone that's joined me for this, and whether you've said your piece, whether you haven't, whether you're just the cool, the kick-ass lurker in back, thank you. You have made the world for me. You've made this so much fun. And knowing that I'm at least here for you guys, in any way, if I'm just humor, a good voice to listen to, a video to record, or watch along and just chill out with in the background while you draw. Or write music, or listen, or whatever it is. If I'm here to entertain your pets, I'm fine with that. That changes a lot. So thank you. Thank you for letting me be into your lives. It's... It really drives it. It drives me to do this. It really gives me a purpose. And I look I look for that. I've definitely needed it. So thank you. Definitely a thousand times thank you. Well, now that the sappy shit's done and I've said my piece, we'll go ahead and, uh, what are we at? We've been talking for an hour. That sounds good. We'll go ahead and kick on over to the game.
which is going to be Power Wash Simulator. Let me try and get that started ahead of time here. <laughs> 